Okay, Armalite um, bunk band, 16 foot 3 to be exact, this model is. Uh, so obviously exactly the same as the couples version as well, this one just can be done in a double bunk. Um, so obviously everything good about Armalite, TIG welded alloy frame, one piece fiberglass floor, uh, fiberglass floating roof and then fiberglass inner roof and all walls as well. So for those that are unfamiliar with Urban, obviously this is an off-road caravan. It comes with a five-year warranty. Um, and there's no clauses. So you can take it off-road if you want to. Excuse the noise today. I'm next to a main road and this one's sitting right on the side. So it's going to be a little bit hard to hear. But I'll do my best. So obviously on the outside, pretty much everything on this one is standard. This is a series, I guess you could say, 1.5. So it's got like the tilting fridge slide. It's got the positive air system and it's got the checker plate too on all the tanks underneath as well, opposed to what was on the Series 1 and the Couples 1. So this one, of course, is lithium compliant. I'm showing a customer now that's pretty keen on lithium, so we may just drop some lithiums into this one. So this one is actually still available in Adelaide. Uh, I'm going to be letting it go somewhere in August. So yeah, I'll do you a bit of a walk around for those that haven't seen the bunk one. A lot of people it's very hard to get to shows and into yards at the moment so it's nice to have a bit of a walk around on YouTube. So 16 inch wheels, of course the Armalite is based on the X-Terrain so you've got truss chassis under there and 12 inch hubs. So this suspension's rated all the way to 2.7. Um, see I'll try and get the checker plate underneath on all the tanks. There you go, so two fresh loader, and then this one's got the grey course at the back as well. So most of the spec you find on an X-Terrain, you'll also find on the Armalite. Now in here, this has got the different style fridge slide to the standard Armalite. So you move this one out at the handle, and it actually, it's a bit scary, but it actually tilts downwards like so. So this fridge does actually come with the van as well. So you can open on both sides, and that's a fridge freezer combo. You can lift that back up, and then it just slides back in like so. Uh, go to the toolbox on the front. So standard on an X terrain as well. Gas bottles in case in inside, I should say, and then slide. So if you do an order on one of these, you can pick your slide to be on whatever side. So if you want a Barbie on this side, or whether you want to take a a generator with you that's totally up to you so front stone guard as well all the standard stuff do 35 so your bar lights and all of these this one's got the wireless ones on it as well so they work by remote and they flick between them um, white and orange so inside the tunnel boot once again excuse the noise so this one is a uh, when was she built uh, around the first week of December last year. So tear weight is coming in at 1895 ATM at 2700 with a ball weight of 215. So yeah, obviously you get the jack with it as well. And still a fair amount of room on this side too, even with the fridge there as well. And it's got the socket up top there for your fridge on that side. A lot of people talk about that brand of fridge. I can't really tell you. I know it can make a, a variety of things for off-road vehicles I haven't had any complaints about it yet um, especially considering it's included uh, with the arm light and it's good height as you can see there's not much space between the top of the fridge on that slide so urban have done a good job with that perfect fit so this uh, swift top water so it's gas electric this one on the bunk has got the um, the H chain installed inside I'll show you that when we sneak inside so this one is coming with uh, AGMs but of course the charging system is capable of lithiums as well. So there they are, under there. So on this side you've also got another bar light down the end, very similar to the couples version. And then outside shower at the back as well. And then of course you've got grey water outlet down the bottom and then mains water on that side. And your two fillers there. All right, we'll jump inside. I'll show you the kitchen first. 
So of course now with these models it's um kitchen inside and out. So that's your pump there to run your lifters. You hear the motor kick in. Just put a bit more air back in those bags. And then that slides out as well. Might be a bit difficult. One hand, oh, there we go. So that slides out like so. So a lot of people ask, is it plumbed? No, it's not plumbed. Um, main reason is it's quite difficult and last thing we want is you guys having troubles when you're um, out in the sticks with uh, you know pipes getting jammed and water leaks and so on. So as far as durability goes, we find it a lot better. So that's a bayonet fitting for your cooker there. And then you've got your taps down there to plumb in your hot and your cold water, which are all included of course. So you connect that and then you've got your hot and cold water at the sink. And that just slides back. Alright, picnic table there, it's standard socket and USB and another one of those cool wireless lights on the outside. So stepping in. So obviously we've got the cooker on one side, which is the three burner, and then the sink and then the filtered water as well, which is nice. Beautiful cabinets as usual with urban gas struts on all of them. So I'll try and pan around so you can get a good look. So bunks are full length. I'm a big bloke. There wouldn't be any problems with me sleeping in one of those bloke in those bunks. Maybe not me on the top, but your average size bloke would be fine up there. So bench seat, obviously that can swing around, and the ladder is included as well. And so are your Sirocco fans up there. And you got another one down the bottom there as well. So obviously with um, um, like all these walls here, it's all fiberglass, and then still fiberglass on here as well. Um, under bunk air conditioning so it's got your trim inducted air under there and then east west bed at the front so this massive bed if you're someone that likes a big bed the beauty of the east west is there's plenty of room um, for those tall folks so obviously even with airbag lifters you've still got the manual so you can still push it up manually as well and i'll give you a quick peek under the bed so there's your bm pro under there so if you wanted to upgrade down the track and put an inverter, plenty of room in here, as you can see. So you can put that in as well. And down the end there, you'll see there's the positive air system under there, which ducks. Comes out just down there. As well. They get little pockets on the end there for iPads as well. Inside the shower. There you go. Yeah, standard combo shower toilet. Shower right up there, and you'll see toothbrushes and things in there as well. There's your 240 volt breaker there, uh, which would be, if you were doing inverter, it wouldn't be hard to run a cable down there and into there to link it into down the track if you wanted to. A lot of people do that, or Urban, of course, offer the X grid package, which is a bit more on top, but maybe if you're trying to save your pennies and maybe do it later on, you can do that as well. So this one comes with the Odyssey pad, which Shows all your electrics. So I'll try and get a bit better view. Kitchen down this end. Obviously, you, know, you get the Victor Frigo as well. It's a great little fridge. So just good for you know things inside, you know, milk, butter, eggs, that sort of stuff, and keep all the fun stuff, the beer and the spirits on the outside fridge maybe. But hey, do it however you want. You do get a little freezer in there as well. But these are a fantastic product. They're actually made um, in Italy. So yeah. Very nice product. So yeah, anything uh, Armalite, give me a PM um, and I can help you. Otherwise, as I said, this one is available in August. There's our current price of ninety two nine ninety on this one. Um, I've actually stated it's got lithium, so I didn't realise it didn't. So we're actually offering this one with lithiums as well at the moment. So yeah, if you're after a a stocky quite neutral colors in here really light very light gray on your tops and your bottoms oh is that two tones up so might be even lighter again and then a slightly darker gray on the top and then you got gray seats there and a, and a concrete top look from the bench tops all right guys thanks for watching uh, like i said shoot me a message i can help you further thanks